Yo! What is up guys, it's your boy the Summer 2 and back with another video. This video took me a fat minute to make, so I would really appreciate it if you guys liked the video. If you haven't yet, let's try to hit 100 likes on this video, alright? 100 likes. We could definitely do it if each one of you take a few seconds of your day to smash that like button. If you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button and turn on all notifications for daily bangers on your favorite Roblox game, Shindo Life, aka Shinobi Life 2. And while you're at it, click the first link in the description and join up my Discord. We have a whole category dedicated to Shindo Life. In that category, you could find a channel that goes by the name Coach Channel. And there we update you with the latest codes. We have the Spawn Locations Channel, uh, Private Server Channel, Hunched Private Server Codes. We have many useful Shindo Life channels. So yeah, join up the Discord server if you haven't yet. And with that being said, let's get right hey, into this. Right, right. right. Alright guys, so check it out, my boy iFatty is about to showcase each gen, shout out to my boy iFatty. So with that being said, let's start off with the first gen. He's gonna explain how each move works and all that good stuff, so yeah. Alright, so the first gen would be Sue Tilt Spare. And the first Z spike would be this move. Ooh. It has... So it shoots oh, wait. like an iron sand fist. And it has like really, really long range. So it's really good if you're like a long range user. Yup, that's like what... Like long range attacks. Yup, that's what, that's what I was trying to say, yeah. The range on that move is crazy. So go a little bit far and show the range. Give them a, a peek, sneak peek. Bro, y'all see that? Eesh. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the second one. So this form looks like a little bit different. It has like an armor. <laughs> Yo, you look spooky as hell. All right, I'll show you the Z spike. That'd be the Tub Beast Bomb. It's really, really good. Does a lot of damage. All right, this would be the third form. This is the Z-Spec. As you can see, it does a lot of damage. It's like a, a big bomb of sand. Alright, moving on to the last stage. Alright, it's gone. Yo, let me check out that form. <laughs> Pretty clean, alright. As you can see, this one shows like the tail. Compared to the last one I just showed. And this is the Z spike. If you guys haven't noticed yet, each tailed spirit, aka tailed beast, gen, whatever you want to call it, all the last, the la this, bro, I can't even speak. The last stage, they all have the same beast. So before, before the revamp, each tailed beast had a different, uh, what's it called, beast for the last one. Alright, let's go ahead and read it. Okay, I'm being like honest, like completely honest. I think it should be a B rank because the first move for the first stage is kind of OP. The long, how long range it is and the damage. In my opinion, I just think it's really good. Yeah, the the first one, the first move, the long range one, that just makes yeah, it right. automatically B, B tier list in my yeah. opinion. I think it's B as well, or maybe even C because, I mean, it's a pretty good combat extender, but like, it's not really like comfortable because most of the time they're trying to like back up and they would block and in pvp but i mean it's an all right move like it does good damage and it has good range but i just wouldn't use it personally like it because like it's like instant auto track like you can auto track from like across the map yeah that auto track move that, just that's what i like i like yeah. the range of the auto track if you catch someone off guard they're like the it's a really good combo extender too like you could use it up close too like if you're just m1ing you could use it up close and like it's, it pulls out so quick it's like instant yeah That's i agree I yeah it. like i said bro that range it has just automatically makes it be level in my opinion we're about to show you where the first tail spawns all right lead the way bro
spawns. He's gonna spawn right here in the skull. The skull should like drop to this corner. Yeah. So yeah, he spawns right here. I'm not really sure if you have to fight the boss anymore. I heard you don't have to fight them anymore. You just gotta wait for the skull to spawn. And if you're lucky enough, and it ends up spawning in your server, you just gotta grab it. That's all. I think. I'm not really sure if you have to fight the boss or not. Let me know in the comment section. But yeah, moving on to the second tail showcase. All right. The second tail would be the Mato Spirit. I'll show you the first one. So as you can see, it looks the same. And I'll show you the Z spec. The Z spec is really good because it does afterburn and it shoots like five little um, blue pellets. It does a lot of damage. And now I'll show you the second form. As you can see, that's two tails now. Let's use a Z-Spec again. Same move. Yep. All right. All right, move the on. third form. Yeah, third form. And now you can look at my face. Not pretty scary. <laughs> yeah, pretty scary. I have two little horns coming out my head. All right, now let's see the Z-Spec. That's really, really good damage. Yeah, that's what I was about to say, the damage though. Eesh. All right, my next one. This form looks really, really nice. Because it's basically just your character with like a really cool armor. All right, let's see Z's back. Bro, the damage. As you can see, there's like an afterburn if you like stay in it. Yeah, in this and case, I, I wasn't in it, so the afterburn didn't really affect me. But the afterburn just makes this gen pretty OP, in my opinion. All right, this is the final form. Go ahead and look at it real quick. I'll be using the Z spec. All right, that's pretty clean. But yeah, like I said, boys, they all have the same beast, just a different bomb. That's the only difference. Just the bomb. Beast is the same for every gen. All right, now let's um go ahead and rate it. Okay. In my opinion, I think it should deserve an A spot because first of all, the first stage move, it's far range and it's fast and it also does afterburn too. So that's why I think it should be A tier. But also uh, the the gin cloak, the tail beast bomb for it, it also does afterburn too and it does like 7k a tick. So like if you get someone low and you hit them with that, you might be able to kill them with the afterburn if you don't kill them with the, with the direct hit. Yeah, I, I like yeah, I agree with you Audible, bro. Yeah, uh, if it wasn't for the afterburn, it would have easily been B level, but the afterburn just bumps it up a little bit to the A level, in my opinion. So yeah, I'm going with A as well. Yeah, I could agree. Yeah, I think it would be inside A as well. I mean, it has good damage and stuff, but it just doesn't have tracking. If it did, then it would be an easy S tier, but the afterburn goes crazy as well. Yep. All right, guys, just follow me. I'm about to lead the way to where the second tail spawns. So, uh, yeah, let's go. All right, Savage, go to a location. I'm heading to you. Oh, you're right here. All right. So Matatabi spawns right here. Yeah. So, like the score should be around here inside this area. Alright guys, you heard the man. The score should spawn somewhere around here. And again, I'm not really sure if you have to fight the boss anymore. But I heard you don't. So yeah, once the score spawns, should spawn here. Grab it and boom, you should have the second tail. That easy. Alright, moving on to the third tail showcase. The Isu Tail Spirit. Show you the first mode. 
Go ahead and check out the tail. Looks way cooler now, has spikes. I'll be showing you the Z spec now. Oh, what? Yeah, that was a fail. Try redoing it. Alright, so this would be the Z spec. That's an insane amount of damage, and it is like a little pushback. Yup. Alright, let's go to that second form. Alright, let's I'm gonna go ahead and use the Z spec. This would be the third form. I'll be using the Z spec again. The damage though, it's pretty good. This would be the fourth mode. Yo. Yo, that mode, I, so far that mode is my favorite. It go hard. Definitely. It has like a little armor. Yeah, I like the armor. And I'll be using the Z spec. Oh, damn. Good damage. Alright, let me just take some of your mode real quick, because I have, like, no mode. Alright. Okay. The next mode would be... This mode. It looks the same as the others. Alright. Let's go ahead and use this spec. Damn. Y'all almost died right there. If I was in there, oh my god, y'all see that damage? Didn't even have to be in there. Alright, that's that's pretty good. Go ahead and check out three tails. Pretty clean. Alright. Now choose the spec. Yo, that damage, pretty good, pretty good moving. As back. you can see, if you get stuck in the prism, then you'll take a lots and lots of damage. All right, now let's go ahead and rate this. In my opinion, mm -hmm. I would put it in the S level, just cause of the the move, how you <clears throat> get stuck in there and it does a good amount of damage. Yeah. In my opinion, I think it should be an A, and this is why, because I uh, I totally 100% agree that the last move is really good and it catches you in a water prism. Well, I just think the first stage, I feel like that should catch you in a water prison because uh, the tail B spawn does, uh, not the tail B spawn, the special tail B spawn does, and it catches you in a water prison. That's why I think that the first move for the first stage, the spec for it should uh, catch you in a prison. That's why I would move it down to A tier. Yeah, I, I, I look agree with you, but I look agree with you, but still, yeah, it should still be in the S in my opinion, just because. That move it has is just, it hits different. And the damage yeah. it does, it's pretty good. I think it should be in the S as well. Because, uh, first, there's only two gens that I can stun. In my opinion, from what I've seen, that is my main gen at the moment right now, three toes. Uh, it, it combos really easily. Uh, and plus, when you are in the stun, you still take more damage, 6k. So, uh, yep. I feel like, and plus, also, if you really need to, combo with Samihara, take their chakra and take damage though with that, so. Yeah, easy yeah. ass level. Same. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, same. All right, guys, we're about to show you where the third tail spawns. All right, Savage, lead the way. Alright guys, so it spawns right here. Yes sir. This would be the fourth tail beast, which would be Sun Tail Spirit. Right. Go ahead and check out the first one. Alright, let's test the beast back. What was that? What? 
<laughs> what was that, bro? That's <laughs> complete. I know you gotta aim at the ground for that one. Yeah, we do. Alright, alright. Alright, so I'm trying to see if I can. Bro, what? Yo, so that's the new move for it? This game is broken. It, yeah, the it's like, it's like it's broken. Yeah. It's the same as before. Wait, that was the move for it before? Wasn't it like a... Yeah. yeah. There's a bunch of them at the time. Now I'm just going to block. Yeah, it was a good... Yeah, it was a good... Yeah, now look. Yeah, it... Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Alright. Now it worked. Alright, moving on It's pretty hard to hit. Yeah, pretty hard. Alright, moving on to the second one. Alright, let's try out the piece back again. So, yeah, yeah, yeah mad it's hard to broke. hit. It's hard to hit. Alright, the next one. Three tails. Alright, third time to charm. Hopefully. <laughs> nope. Ah. Damn. Try and like aim indirectly below you since it keep you on to the wall. Yeah, try to like aim it to the ground. Instead of at me. Alright, let's try the next one. Hold up, let me show. Alright. Alright, let's test out the spike. Try like longer. shooting it at the ground. Did you try shooting it at the ground? Yeah, if you're watching the stream, yeah, like right on the ground. Did. All right, so yeah, it's pretty hard to land. Yikes. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one. So far, this one is looking like a E. An F. E F. All right, Z spec. Hold up, let me show. I keep forgetting to show the form. All right, does it good amount of damage? But let me show the form real quick. Alright. Yeah, two really cool like bull horns coming on my head. Oh yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, Alright, the next one. Oh no, this one. Alright. Alright, this back. Alright, that one's not hard to land, that's pretty good. This one is looking like a C. So far, yeah, it does like after burn damage, just like the second tail. Oh, so B. No, actually, no, let's leave it at C. So, far. C. All right, the okay. next one. All right, it looks real nice. That spikes on the tails. Yeah, all right, let me inspect. Damn, damage is pretty good. Okay, so yeah, it's looking like a B. Yeah. What do y'all think? Let's go ahead and rate this. In my opinion, I think it should be a D rank because not an E or an F. I just think that it should be settled there because I think that the gym clue kind of carries it because you can't really use the first four moves. And I think it should be not an F or an E because like the burn damage is still worth it. Any gym with burn damage or tick damage afterwards, the hit, I think it should be moved up at least one or two ranks and it should be. Uh, but I just put it down low down there because the gym code kind of carries it. I think it's uh, C, honestly. Uh, Cause if you if you just got the gym and you're trying to level it up, uh, yeah, the Z spec, I'll it's give like you on that. And stuff, yep. It'd be really hard. And the burn damage is not as good as the second tail. It only does like 1,300 and I just don't see. Oh, I, I didn't. I, did, I didn't focus on that. the burn damage. Wait, wait, hold up. You use the move on me again. I should focus right. you focus on the damage. All right. So if All the right. burn damage doesn't do that much damage as the second tail, then it's definitely C in my opinion. No burn damage. What the hell? All right. One thousand three hundred. How much does the second tail do again? 
it does the exact same damage. So it's good. Yeah. So B, I mean B level in my opinion. Yeah, I agree. What do you think of Tachi? Tachi's not there. All right, everybody spoken? All right, yes. moving on to the, to the location for it. All right, guys, me and my boy Savage about to show you with four tail spawns. All right, Savage, lead the way. Where are you going? It's behind this rock, but it's not letting me go over. You sure? So this must yeah. be a bug. You positive response over here? It's like over this rock and then there's going to be like a river. And then right next to that river, there's going to be a ledge and he spawns right on there. Oh, that's weird. Did they remove it? I have no clue. There's nothing over there. There isn't? Yeah. Okay, let me check the other side. Let me check the other side. It might be the other side. Oh, they probably changed the spawn locations. Maybe. Because maybe some of the places had like copyrighted areas that's inside the show and they can't use. That might have happened. Yeah, probably. Nope, it's not here. It wasn't close to the arena. It was on the other side of the arena. So uh, yeah, they, they moved the foothills. Alright, uh, they must have moved it or it's just a bug they uh yeah they must have moved it, yeah. It's not a bug. So yikes, we don't know where it spawns at the moment. So we're gonna have to skip the four tail spawn locations for now. I mean spawn location for now. Um for those of you that know where it spawns, let me know in the comment section, I'll cover the spawn on it on another video. The cool tail spirit, aka the five tails. Go ahead and go to the first one. Alright, All right, we need six back. Oh, that's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. So it's kind of like a, a big gust of air, kind of, and it pushes back your enemy. And it does a decent amount of damage. But the pushback yeah. Loki makes it good. Alright, let's go to the second part now. Spec. Same move. The damage is decent. Yup. Alright, moving on to the third form. <clears throat> Alright, I'll be using your Z spec. Oh, and by the way, if you get someone up against a corner, it's really, really good. There's a lot of damage if you get them in the corner. Alright, so let's do one without me in the corner and then one with me in the corner. Alright. So it's the same move. Yeah, so yeah, I agree. So if, if someone's in the co in, yeah, in the corner, you could easily like use that move and it damages them over time, like over and over without them being able to escape. But if they're not in the corner, they could easily escape. Yeah, so yeah, use it on me when I'm in the corner. Let me showcase it for him. Alright. So yeah, it's pretty hard to escape when you're in the corner. It's it, it's possible to escape, but kind of hard. All right, man, did a lot of damage. Mm -hmm, the damage, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Yeah, did really, really good damage. This would be the fourth one. All right. Let's see spec. Same move. So yeah, if you get someone in the corner, you could do tons of combos on them. It's really hard to get out of. Mm -hmm. This would be the fifth one. Alright. Go ahead and test uh, Z's back again. Alright, now it's a, it's a bomb. Tail Beast bomb. Yeah, now it'd be a bomb. Damage is pretty decent. Alright, let's go to the next one. Alright, 
This is expect. I think the form's like broken or something. What makes you say right. that? Uh, look, I was in like the last form and he used the... Uh, like a bomb. What, is he not supposed to use the bomb? I don't know, let me, let me test it out again. Yeah, see, look, he used the Tail Beast bomb. And it's not in the... Uh, this form, see? You can only use the Tail Beast bomb in this form. And I was able to use it in this one. Oh, okay, so yeah, that, that has to be a bug. Eesh. Yeah, probably a bug. Alright, now let's test. Go to the next form. It should be this one. Alright. Go ahead and use uh, Z spec. Oh, that bomb looks pretty... Intimidating. As you can see, it pushes while you're like yeah, close that, to it. That damage was did a good amount of damage. Alright, let's find a form. Alright. Oh, um, go ahead and use that. She's back. The damage, pretty good, yup. So, what level would y'all put in? Um, so far so, I'm thinking A or S. Yeah, in my opinion, I think it should be an A because first of all, the stat points are insane. It's really fast and um, the move, the first stage move, it's also really good because it also like you said, Salem, if you trap someone in a corner, it's really hard and there's no amount of like max damage you can do with it. So you can hit them as many times as you can. I just like it also because like the AOE is huge and everything. And with the tail beast bomb and the gym cloak, I really I think it's really good because when you throw it down, it puts out like a gust of wind and you get hit back and everything. Yeah, I agree with you, bro. And it does tick damage. Or no, not tick damage. You have easy A level in my opinion. What do you think, oh, Fatty? I agree, because if you get someone in the corner, even if you use your ultimate, like your your Z spec in the final form, it does so much damage if you get someone in the corner. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's really hard to get out of. What do you think, Savage? I think it's B because, like, at the lower stages, the uh, the Z spec is pretty hard to hit. Cause I mean, it does have a hard, uh, like a wide AOE, but you could easily dodge that. Like, you could just back up and dash like forward or to the true, side. True, true. But what makes it OP again is if you have your opponent in the corner, it's cliff run. That's what makes it OP. Yeah. And, and it, it constantly the damages rash, them, bro. And it constantly that. damages them. Like, that's, that's yeah. pretty good. In my opinion, I also think it, it should stay at A tier, not B tier, because um, it, even though it looks like it doesn't have a lot of range or a good hitbox, it has a huge hitbox. I don't, I don't know if that's just me, but for me, it looks like the range is really short, but it has a huge hitbox. Uh, like, the hitbox is insane, like, you can hit anything around you. Um, what do you think it's I think it should be in B, because, like you were saying, you have to, if you want them to do... At least range-wise, but you have to have him in a corner, which also could uh, lower his value. Um, and also, with that, like you were saying, if you're not in a corner, you can just back up. Which at that, and if you're far away, the range, the range is not as uh, it's far. But if you say that if you're on an open uh, space and everything like that, and you use that, and they just back up, it's pointless because they can just keep backing up. Or if they have sharing on. Atachi or normal fast reflexes, they can also escape out of that as well. I, like I said, again, I low-key agree with you, bro, but the way it constantly damages yeah. you and if you have your opponent in the corner, it's, it's, that, that's no what makes it OP. Yeah, so again, um, it's A level for me. Alright, guys, we're about to go to the fifth tail spawn location. We might not be able to find it or go to it. Same reason, because... You know they removed that part of the area and probably changed the spawn location just like for the four tails sadly so um if you guys do know the spawn location for it the new spawn location for it let me know in the comment section but we're about to check if it if it still has the same spawn location but if it doesn't then yes let me know the new spawn location in the comment section and i'll cover it on a new video but yeah there's a good chance that they they made a new spawn location for this tail beast yeah, that's yeah. why this is locked as well. Yeah, I think it's just a bug because I could still see that area. You know what I mean? I think yeah. It could, yeah, it has that to be a bug. It. 
No, 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 it's not, but they, re they completely removed that area. This would be the Shake Tailed Spirit, aka Six Tailed. Alright. This would be the first form. Alright, let's go ahead and use these back. Oh! Oh, that's pretty good! So far, as you can see, get in the bubble, you get slowed down. It's really good. Yup, so far, this is looking like an S level. Alright, this is the second form. Uh, now I'm using the disc bag. Alright. Bro, again, the move is pretty good. I like the way it slows you down when you're in the bubble, it makes it OP. So far, S level for me. Yeah, I agree. Alright, B, third one. Yeah, it looks the same, just three tails, that's the only difference. Alright, let's see his back. Bro, that damage. Wait, is it me or is it getting stronger? Or is it the same? I'm not sure, I think. I actually don't know. I don't know, I feel like he's getting stronger, he's taking more damage. I don't know, it might, it might just be me. Alright. We got the four tails now. Get it? All right. Let's see his back. Good. Pretty good. All right. This is the next one. All right. Same thing. Now you have five tails. Let's get it. All right. Back. Bro, yeah, it's doing more damage. Yeah, I, I saw that it has more damage. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one. Hold up, let me heal up. All right. Go ahead and check out my face of like the horns. Yeah, that's that looks pretty sick. All right, then Z-Spike. All right, tell these bomb. Bro, the damage on the tail on this tail beast bomb is it's pretty decent compared to the other moves you were just using. All right, let's go ahead and go to the next one. All right, does he spike? Oh, all right, that, that's pretty good. And if you're in the bubble, it slows you down as you can see. Yep. Oh, and like a little after damage. Oh. All right, the next one. All right, let's go ahead and use uh, this back. Just wait for this cool down. The damage. All right, let's go ahead and rate it. What do okay, think? so in my opinion, I think that I should be an A tier. Hear me what out. A? Yeah, you both. Listen, hear me out. Hear me out. Uh, hear me uh. out. The reason why I think it should be an A tier is because when you catch someone in the first stage as uh, spec, you can easily dash out of it. It might slow you down, but it also gets bigger, and then it also gets smaller, and then you could easily just dash out of it. That's why I think it brings down rank. And then also but, for the ATR, but still, bro, the damage on it, the damage is good. The, it slows you down, and like, bro, so far every tail beast we showed couldn't do what this tail beast is doing right uh, now. I respect that, but nah, bro, I, I lowkey don't agree because the damage it does is pretty OP, and I like the way it slows you down, which could be great for combos. Like, imagine using it on your opponent, it drains their health to like a good amount, and you could easily go straight and combo on them and while they're trying to escape, you know. It's pretty good. So that's why it's an easy S tier in my opinion as well. Because the fact that it stuns, it's it's easy because you can just run up to them. Even as they're trying to escape, you could get them inside a combo. Yeah, before they the escape. Side. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Before they escape, you could combo them, like for sure. That's what makes it easy uh, S tier. Alright guys, me and my boy Savage are about to show you where the six tail spawns. Alright bro, lead the way.
Six tail should spawn right here. All right, guys, you heard the man. Six tail should spawn somewhere around here. The nah, seven tail would be the like, two tail spirit. Go ahead and show you that first mode. Who? Looking good already. As you can see, like the tails look way different compared to the other ones. Yeah. Hold space. You can fly. Uh, oh. You can also fly. Oh, that's clean. So far, that, S, that, that might bring it up S level. Here. Yeah. Let's see if you can shoot while you're flying. Let's see. Ooh, yeah. Oh, S. Oh. Wait, auto tracks? Yo. Yeah, auto tracks. That's a yep. So far, easy S for me, bro. Easy. So to fly higher, you would press spacebar, and to go down, you press X. All right. Or hold the down. And it also takes stamina, so you might want to watch out for your stamina. And All right. To take mode. Um, test my Z spec on you. Yo. That's nice. And, and it this, puts you to sleep like yeah, a little stun. I, that's what, yeah, that's what I was about to say. Uh, I like the way it puts you to sleep. Easy combos right there. No, and, and, it doesn't, and it doesn't hit you back, so you can't ruin a combo. So it just puts you to sleep instantly. It doesn't hit you back on some of the things. Yep. Perfect. Alright. Oh, that's amazing. This would be the second form. Yeah, I'm not gonna showcase the form. I mean, I'll show the form. They all look the same, just an extra tail. Alright, the Z-Spec. Yo, okay. I'm liking the Z-Spec. Oh. Low keys, might be high tier. This would be the next form. What do you mean, might be? It's already high tier for me. Yeah, I agree. Alright, Z-Spec. Can be the next one. All right, same thing, just an extra tail. I'll be using the Z spec. Just hold hands over. Just note, it, it, it's really good because it makes it go to sleep, but it doesn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, the damage is all right. But the way you put you to sleep, like. It doesn't knock you back. You can easily land combos, bro. It makes up for the damage, in my opinion. Does it make you fly faster in that form? Test it out. And the way you can fly with it, yeah. Oh, that makes you it can fly yes. so wow. fast. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's looking insane. All right. Yeah, this one looks real nice. Oh, the shine effect looks really cool. I'll be using my Z spec now. Damage is alright. Okay. Yeah. Regular tail beast. Good spawn. damage, yep. Alright, go ahead and go to the next one. Alright, alright. This would be next one, my bad. You could fly with that too. Oh. Oh. Look, you look like Superman right now. Yo, that's clean, bro. The one downside to it is that, like, you can't really see. Like, with the max form, you can't really see what's in front of you. Alright, so she said, she's back now. Ooh. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's good. All right, moving on to the last form. Oh, why does it keep on? All right, this would be the final form. Oof. All right. See what it looks like when I fly. Yeah, let's see the speed on it. Yo, it's going fast, bro. Yo, and you could do your moves too. Can you do juices up there? See, uh, yeah, I bet you can. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Imagine, imagine fighting oh, a player oh, with this form, bro. How hard oh, would it be to like land your moves on? Imagine you? like Genjutsuing them in the sky. Yeah, okay. that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> Think I can land? All right, All perfect. Go ahead and test the Z spec. All right, not bad. All right, moving on to the ATLs. Wait, before we do that, we gotta rate it, and I gotta show you guys the location, bro. What am I doing? All right, so okay, S, and, S for me, bro. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. In my opinion, it's an S. Uh, short story, it's an S, but 
I also like it, and it's also an S because first of all, you could fly, which is a really, really mm -hmm. big upgrade. You can dodge moves so easily. I like how the first stage move, the spec for it, it's really good because it puts people to sleep and it doesn't hit them back, so it doesn't ruin your chance of having a good close range combo. And they don't, um, and while they get hit back, they don't wake up. Okay, and also for the gin form, or not the gin form, the gin cloak form, the chakra mode form, I find it really, really good because I think it also does tick damage and it puts you to sleep. And it also, you could fly really fast, which can, which can make you dodge moves really easy. And I like how it takes stamina other than mode or chakra or something. All right, what do you think, off, Addy? I agree with him. It's really, really good because you could make people go to sleep. Too. What do you think, uh, Savage? I think it's the best gen. Yeah, me, me too. Yeah, I think it's the best gen so far. How about you, Itachi? You oh, my, oh, my fault, my fault. Sorry for cutting damage. you damage. Uh, like, it would just it would just be really good for combos in general. And, mm -hmm. like, it's an all-around good gen. Yep, agreed. Mm -hmm. Itachi, what do you think? Uh, I feel like it, uh, it's hot too. I, I agree on what Charles said. Yep. Uh, for me, what makes it good is the f uh, factor, and you can also put them to sleep because, say, if you did have some type of infinite combo, right? That could also have time to making that last even longer, so they wouldn't mm -hmm. really be able to do anything at that point. Yep. And then you just put them to sleep yeah. and they just stun for even longer. All right, me and my boy Savage are about to show you where the seven tail spawns. All right, Savage, lead the way. Wait, hold up. Let me invite you to a squad real quick. Invite Savage. All right, accept. All right, lead the way, bro. <laughs> you stuck, bro? Yeah, I'm stuck. <laughs> okay, I'm out. All right. Should spawn here, right? Yeah, right here. So this grassy part. All right, guys. So the seven tails spawn somewhere around here. So yeah, yes, sir. Eight tails would be called the guy tailed spirit. Go ahead, show you the first one. Look like. All right. All right. Nice. Ooh. 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 Oh. Okay, Ooh. I like that. I like that. Yo, that's really hard to get out of so far. Yeah, it's really nice. That's why I was right. gonna put six things up. Like yeah, it's looking like a A rank for me. I mean, A level so far. All right, go ahead and go to the second phone. Oh, jump straight up to. Yeah, you jump straight to the four. All right, I'll be using my. Wait, one. that's the second form? It jumps straight to the yep. four. Oh, okay. Oh my god, Ooh, bro. Easy god. to land and that so hard so to get much. out of. Bro, it's and the so the range is insane too. Wait, it's actually oh it's no, goodness. it's low-key easy to get out of. All you have to do is jump to double uh tab spacebar and then do the cute thing. But if you uh, if you don't shoot it in one spot, you shoot it in like um and you shoot it in like a circle, if they jump out they're just gonna get caught in another one right next to it. Yeah, true, true. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's pretty good. Alright, third one. Yo, it takes so long to uh, disappear. Eesh. Yeah, that's why I like about it, yeah. No, it jumps straight to six, so no. Okay. Go ahead and use that food bag. The damage mm. on it is bad. Mm. But it does yeah. make up for it, though. It does, because again, you can combo and you comboing on a player is, is way better than depending on the damage that the bomb does. Because the combo does yeah. a lot of damage, you know? Mix up and it stays for a while too. Yeah, yeah, it's still there. 
Yeah, so far it's a hey, reason why I'm not making it S is because the recent tail. Just because it doesn't slow you. Yeah, it doesn't slow you down. The recent tail flies, and this one doesn't fly, so it's. Yeah, and it had low damage too. Mhm, mm and the low damage, so it's a so. All right, the fourth mode. It could be B, but I'm saying A. All right, now it's mm -hmm. A tail. All right. Oh, Look real nice. All right, the uh, Z spec. All right, tail beach ball. Yes. All right. That did like sixty something k. Or like seventy k. Yes. All right. Go ahead and go to the fifth one. Ooh, Ooh yo, that looks clean. I like the tail. Okay. Yeah. With the format, so it's real nice. Wait, is that horns? Wait, yeah, the horns. Eesh. I like the horns too. I. <clears throat> Alright. Z spec. Tell Beast Bomb. Alright. Moving on to the next second form. last one. Oh, I just realized the recent form it also had Tell Beast Bomb. Yeah, I think it's a bug. Alright, I'll be using that Z spec. Oh, that did a good amount of damage. And Bro. Oh my god! Get yo. real big. Oh my! It spawns two circles, so there's double the AOE. Yo, it could low key be S. It could be S. I, 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 I mean, I don't want to push it that far. Not. Yeah. A, 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 A fatigue. Yeah. It's, it's, it's perfect at A. Mm -hmm. Not lower, not higher. Agreed. Perfect yeah. Perfect at A. I was going to the last one. All right, the last one. Oh yeah. Oh my god! That, looks nice, that, that little horn. red strips. I like that, bro. Ooh. Yeah, it looks real nice. Alright. Alright, let's mm. back. Yo, I don't like the fact that they all have the same beast. Yeah, yeah they'll probably have an update. I, I hate how you can't, like, individually change each one. Alright, I mean, it's pretty good to move on it, but the beast thing is eh. But yeah, easy A rank, bro. I mean, A level. A tier. Yeah. What do you want to call it? Yo, okay. What do y'all think? So now we're going to rank it. So, in my opinion, I think it's A. First of all, because the first move, it's okay. I mean, it does have an AoE if you shoot not all of it in one spot and you kind of like spread them around. It does have kind of a big AoE. But again, I still think the bubbles for six kills are a lot better. And um, for the Gin Cloak, that's, that's the one where it comes in. It's like right when you shoot it it doesn't hit them outside of the bubble and it has double aoe because it forms two bubbles and does it do tick does it do tick damage uh and doesn't does it does, does it slow you down yeah it does slow you down a lot okay it slows you down then yeah perfect and i like it i like it because it's also double aoe mm -hmm. and i like the fact that you can like land the bubbles in different places i yeah, didn't know that at first it doesn't all go, but yeah it now i know that and that just makes it really good bro all right, me and my boy Savage about to show you guys where the ATL spawns. All right, Savage, lead the way. I'm heading to you right now. Let's not by past it, hold on. You it's passed right. it? Yeah, it's right. It's right next to this gray rock. Alright. So yeah guys, you heard the man. You should spawn somewhere around here. Alright, the core tilt spirit. No, be showing you the first form. AKA the nine tails. Yep. Alright. Alright, Z spec. So that range on that move, same thing as the first tail. Pretty good. It has a really long range. That's what makes it pretty good. Yeah. So, Let's wait, go ahead and hold up. Try, try landing it on me from all the way here. All right. Try using. Sorry. No. Yo. <laughs> Yo. The range, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Yo. I know, right? 
I right. also really like how they implemented it. So like the color of your gin, like the base color of your gin is like the color of like your move. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's really cool. All right, second, All right, yeah. second form. All right. All right, that was bad. Next bag. Same move. Oh, it's not for right. the first tail. You can only use that move for the first uh, stage, right? The second and third stage uh, doesn't have that move, right? Or am I? I'm not too sure. Or am I wrong? Okay. I mean, if you guys want to double check, just rewind the video. But all right, continue. All right, I'll go ahead and use a third form. Or go to the third form. All right, not bad. Same thing, just retails. Is this back? All right, same move. All right, now the fourth form. All right, not bad. Just like the other forms, it has a horn. All right, I'll be using the deep bed. Uh, regular tail beast bomb. All right, the next one, which would be the fifth one. Oh, those bones on the outside just look sick. Oh, I didn't even notice the bones. Okay. All right. All right. Just he's back. Okay, that's nice. All right, the sixth one. Yeah, the form kind of looks like all the gin forms in my opinion. I think we'll be yeah. on this now one. this one, it's gonna be pretty big. Alright. Let's see. Is he spec? Oh. 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 oh, that's pretty OP. Alright, that's an it easy has, S. It has one fire one and one dark one. Ha yeah, that's it, an that's easy like S. An that's an S. That's an S. Yeah, it's because... Yeah, it's yes. Lost so damage. do the Q spec? Q spec? Yeah, because the first forms, they have right. a move with good range. And bro, yep, S. Easy S. Yes, sir. S. That that move Definitely you can good. snipe people. Like if if you see someone wait, is it a block breaker or no? I don't think so. Probably not. But if that was a block breaker, that would have been easier. Like higher than the S. <laughs> wait, right. so far, so wait, try try breaking my block. Get the keys back? Mm hmm Yeah. Alright. Bro, the damage is pretty good, even though oh I'm blocking. Oh my goodness, now you, that's an yeah, S. You almost yeah. Broke, yeah, yeah you, you almost broke my block. Pretty nice. I did 20k damage. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, that's an easy. Alright, the next form. Okay, last form. Let's get it. Bro, the cloak. Eesh, that hits a different. Alright, let's go ahead and see back. The tails are having like a spasm. <laughs> All right, yeah, the damage is pretty good. And it does uh, after damage too. Yeah, easy S, my fault, bro. Easy S. Okay, so now we're gonna rank it. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, it's an S. First of all, because the first move, it's really good. It's like, um, it's a really far range move. And I think you, could, uh, you can't even block it. Uh, it still does damage to you even if you block it. And that's why I think it's really good, so people can't block it, and so auto track. What do you think, Vladdy? Definitely an S rank. S, it has uh, the Q spec, which is really, really good for a Q spec. Yeah. In my opinion, better than the Roar. And it does so much damage, the Z spec. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, I'm about to show you where the Nine Tails spawns. My boy Savage is not here, so I'm about to lead the way this time. Alright, with that being said, follow your boy. All right, guys, the nine tails should spawn somewhere around here. Yes, sir. So when the time comes and the tail spawns, I mean the nine tails spawns, come to this area. You should see the scroll. Grab the scroll and boom, you got the nine tails. Ten tails. It's called the ten tailed spirit. I'll be going to the first and only farm it has. Oh, that Ooh. looks pretty intimidating. Ooh. Oh, look at the weapon on the back too. You see the weapon? Oh. oh. Okay. I'm guessing that's the move for uh, six pass. 
That's a new, uh... Yeah, that's his new, new weapon. weapon. Yeah. I mean, weapon. Yeah. <laughs> that's his new weapon, yeah. Yeah, just like a rework of the old one. Yep. You can also fly with it, which is really nice. Yeah, that's an easy S. Yeah, because the damage yeah. it does... Hold up, show them the what this mode is capable of. The Q spec is 74 k and you can't block it. Alright. Alright, I'll be testing the clicks first. Alright. That's just him oh. clicking on his mouse, bro. Oh. Y'all see the damage? Oof. That's pretty good. That's Easy M1 is. combat. Yeah, test it out one more time, real quick. Damage is insane, bro. And it's very good for combos. Alright, now I'll be using the Q spec. Okay. Oh. Dam damage is, is is good, but the knockback. I like the knockback. Just in case you know an enemy's mm -hmm. coming at you and you want to get him back, you use that move. Pretty good. Oh, and there's a short cooldown as well. Test that out real quick again. Short cooldown. Yeah. Second that's a cooldown. Twelve second cooldown. Okay, then that's Ooh. pretty OP. Oh my fault. That's pretty OP. Yeah. It does seventy-four K plus an extra tick if you get hit by the edge of it. All right, now let's test out the Z spec. Damn. And they auto track, yeah. right? Yep, yeah. auto track. Wow. The bad thing about it is that it has a 40 second cooldown though. Yeah, kind of rough. Yeah. Well, that's about it, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. S. In my opinion, it's an easy S. Easy S. First of all, it has just like seven tails you can fly. And the Q spec, it has a 13 second cooldown and it does 74k plus an extra hit. And the M1 combat it. is crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, the M1 combat, I was right about to get to that. And right, uh, when you get to the Z spec also, it's like, it's an auto track and it follows them. Like, you cannot get away from it. It follows them automatically. And also, um, what was I going to say? The M1 combat, if you stack that with a Susano, or you stack that with, like, 1010's weapon art or something, that thing's OP. You're unstoppable. <laughs> Easy, uh, Esther. I agree with you. All right, so, yeah, that's about it. Wait, actually, we have to get the other people's uh, input on this. So, Atachi, what do you think? Uh, I feel like it's S tier. But right. like you're saying, you like it with um, any type of Sasharan gun or any type of uh, doju too. Yeah, at that point it becomes uh, just insane. Yeah. Can't even really stop it. Fatty, what do you think, bro? Uh, easily the best mode. Yep. And so My opinion. You agree? Yep. That's rank. Alright guys, so the creators changed the spawn locations for the Tentails. Before you had to fight the boss, now it's actually a spawn location, you don't have to fight no boss. So now it spawns at the same location the Nine Tails spawns. So you simply go to the same location the Nine Tails scroll spawns, and you should find the Tentails scroll over there. That simple boys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video, if you haven't yet, please like the video. And most importantly, subscribe to our notifications for more bangers on your favorite Roblox game, Shindo Life, aka Shinobi Life 2. Other than that, it's been your boy, the Summer 2 one. Peace out.